Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would show you the books that the kids have been absolutely loving. If you know Ellie in particular, she is a massive bookworm. She really enjoys reading. She likes to chill out in the evenings and read some books. She reads them to her brother. And yeah, I just think like there's nothing better than having a book collection for your children. I'm gonna show you a few books that they've been loving, but also a few books that I'd recommend for ages four to five in particular. Uh, so it could be things to do with their feelings or education. Harry is also getting into books as well. He's only 19 months old, but he does love the kind of touchy feely soundy books. So I'll show you a few that he's been loving as well. And yeah, if you'd like to see what books they've been loving, then keep on watching. A lot of these books have been sent by the lovely people at Osborne Publishers, and I haven't been paid to say any of this. They just now and then send us some books in the post, and we are so, so grateful, and we use them all of the time. So yeah, a lot of these are from Osborne, but there are a few different ones as well, which I'll show you. So the number one favourite book for Harry has got to be the That's Not books. Um, we have lots of these. These are just um, two that I just picked out from the collection. He has all different ones from kind of like Easter themed ones to Christmas ones. So yeah, I've got That's Not My Flamingo and That's Not My Bunny here. And these are the Touchy Feely books. He adores these. So first of all, I like this one because it has the um, shiny pages. It's like the little things that make me happy. So it has got the shiny pages of the edges. But if you don't know what these books are, they are, they have like all different textures. So this says, that's not my flamingo, its feet are too rough. And then it has uh, like all different textures that they can feel. Um, so like a fuzzy tail and they're really colourful and also Ellie can read these on her own which is really really amazing so she can actually read these to Harry and he will sit there with her and touch him so yeah these are a great must have for little ones um, and it's nice that we've built up a little collection as well these retail at 6 99 but you can get them in places like Aldi um, time to time and they're a lot cheaper they're like two or three pounds um, I have got some from boot sales as well so definitely check out like your charity shops and boot sales another one that we love by Osborne are these little peep through books this one is the are you there little tiger we have the unicorn one we have the bunny one and we have the Christmas one as well. And basically it's a little story where you've got to find the tiger and it has the little, what's it called? Peep through holes. So like little cut out holes as well. And yeah, it's just a lovely little storybook. And again, there's loads to collect as well. These are 5 99 and then another one Harry loves by Osborne are these animal hide and seek touchy feely and flap books. So we've got a few of these. We've got an Easter one and this is the animal farm one. So it has the big flaps so they can find the animals and it also has textures to it as well. And I love things that are really big and colourful for Harry as well because his attention span is not so great. So um yeah this is a really lovely book and yeah they are 9.99 another book that i used to read harry when he was a baby and ellie and i still read to them i think it's just a classic book to have it's the guess how much i love you book and yeah it's just lo such a lovely story book and um it means a lot as well like it's really a thoughtful story and yeah it's just one to have in your collection um, you can pretty much get this anywhere. I got this from, I think it was Waterstones. Um, 
but yeah, it's just a lovely book to have. This book here means a lot to us. This is the book that we got Ellie when we found out we were pregnant and having a baby. Um, so it says, I'm a big sister. I got it off eBay, I think, and you can get all different types of ones. Um, you can also get ones about potty or if you're going to be a big brother. And she has read this so many times that she knows the story off by heart. And every time she reads it, it just brings back them happy memories of finding out we were pregnant and obviously she is a great big sister so this is very very special to us but it's a lovely book as well it's really um it really does explain to a child what's going to happen there's going to be changes in the family but um like they can join in and help things like that so yeah it's just a lovely story to have so i'd really recommend that if you are looking for um, a book to teach your little ones that there's going to be a new baby in the family. One of my favourite authors is Julia Donaldson. She is incredible. I love pretty much all of her stories. Um, we have got quite a few. I've just picked out a few at random to show you. Uh, but I really love this collection. Um, it's the, what would you call it? Tales from Acorn Wood. So you've got Postman Bear, Postman Bear Hide and Seek pig and rabbit's nap this is probably their favorite one it's fox's socks um, again it's quite a classic one but it's one of them lift the flat books as well um, and it also says the creators of the graffalo so julia donaldson did create the graffalo um, and she's very famous for like a lot of stories but yeah this is a great catchy storybook again eddie has read this so many times that she knows what happens in the story and can read it um so it's a really good one for rhyming as well um it's got the little flaps um, and yeah ellie uh, harry really enjoys it because of the rhyming and he likes to listen to eva me and ellie read this to him another julia donaldson is the sick man again classic uh, very well known and also they have got a tv kind of like a movie show on this uh, story as well um so it just says sick man lives in the family tree with his sick lady love and their sick children free um and yeah it's just like a classic to have uh, we like to read this around christmas time in particular uh but yeah if i can find any links to these like the cheapest places i will leave them linked down below probably my favorite julia donaldson book is the singing mermaid this is such a lovely girly book to have and um, it's it's just such a great story so basically um there's a mermaid and she wants to join the circus but there's a horrible man at the circus so she's got to try and set herself free and she also sings and her friends are like fishes and stuff but it's just such a beautiful story and it's fun as well the pictures are really good and the colors and yeah i mean i'll read the first page to you this ellie's favorite page is the first one did you ever go to Silver Sands on a sunny summer's day? Then perhaps you saw the mermaid who sang in the deep blue bay. She sang to the fish in the ocean, to the haddock, the hake and the ling. And they flashed their scales and swished their tails to hear the mermaid sing. So yeah, the rhyming is really lovely and yeah, it's got all glitter on the book as well. So I'd really recommend this if you have got little girls. Boys as well. Harry really, really loves the mermaids. But um, yeah, this is probably Eddie's favorite and then moving on to educational books so we've got this one by osborne it's one of the lift and flap very first questions and answers this is the what is the moon book now ellie is five she's going to be six in november and she obviously is learning a lot at school and she come home one night and um was talking about space and obviously the moon the earth planets and I mean, I didn't think they did that till they was like in year two. So the fact that she's already learning about it is amazing. And she actually received this in the post, which is like perfect timing because she is constantly asking questions about like the earth and the moon. So this book is very easy for kids to understand. Uh, so basically it says, what is the moon? It's a bright shape in the night sky. And then... 
it says it hides when it's cloudy so it's very simple for them to actually understand and it's not too complicated uh, because if it got really complicated she probably would switch off whereas one of these books she is more intrigued and um, she she really enjoys it so yeah it's just a lovely book to learn from and she's took it into school as well to do show and tell because she was that excited about it so yeah i think these books are really really good for obviously it depends what stage they are at school um but yeah and then we have two more from osborne we have this one which is all about families what a lovely book i mean i've never seen a book like this if there is one then i'm sorry but I just think this is such a lovely idea to do so basically it's a book all about families and it shows children that no matter what family you are in you are all perfect and it might be maybe a gay couple it may be um an adopted family um what else was there different cultures different um colors disabilities like it's just so lovely some people might have two mums some people might have a stepdad and it just shows that you know all families are different and there's no right and wrong way of having a family so yeah so for example we have um the illustrations of all different families so there are um jewish families there are disabilities like i said um you know gay marriages adopted families i just think it's lovely so your family might be big or your family might be small uh, they might be a different mixture they might have different languages it also talks about celebrations so you've got um diwali chinese new year um thanksgiving all things like that and yeah i just think like what a fantastic book to teach your children on um because obviously children don't know what is right and what is wrong so having something like this will really teach them so i really like that one and then we have a similar one but this one is about feelings this is also by osborne so this is a book all about feelings and Ellie obviously is five years old so she's going through a lot of feelings at the moment she can be emotional she could be happy she could be angry she could be frustrated and it's good that they can talk about their feelings body messages and clue so if maybe they're not feeling very well or they're cold if you're happy if you're sad if they're having a bad day and yeah it's obviously getting them aware that it is normal to have different feelings and you can't be happy all of the time and if they are frustrated then they just have to tell you and i think it explains it explains in a good way to like if they are feeling frustrated or sad how they should say it because i think they can be quite scared um but yeah again a great book to have for a preschooler or someone at school by osborne they have some amazing books and we are so grateful to have these they are very much loved this is the planet earth so like i said ellie is really into learning like she just loves it and this is the type of book that you could take maybe on a road trip or if you're going on a holiday just to keep them busy really it's just packed with facts so you've got maps you've got planet earth you've got um islands um let's have a look jungle so all about the jungle uh storms europe volcanoes africa hot days cool nights asia so yeah again I'm, i don't think ellie's actually learning about geography at the moment and um, different countries of the world but when we do go on holiday she is very interested in countries so she knows obviously spain she knows turkey and um, she knows paris now so what i'm going to do i'm actually going to get a map for her room and start like maybe like a basic children's map because i think maps can be quite 
you know, in your face in because there's so many countries. So I'm going to get like a basic one. And I think it would be quite nice to go through a few countries and maybe the countries that she's been to, we can tick them off. Um, but yeah, this is a great book to explain all about places like Africa and the different cultures and stuff. So yeah, maybe this is probably aimed for children above six, I'd say, or like more into if they're learning geography. The last book I'm gonna show you, she actually got for Christmas from her uncle and it's called Where's Mickey? This is a search and find activity book and it's basically very similar to Where's Wally? Where's Wally is just such a fun book. I remember when I was a child, I had a lot of Where's Wally's books and I'd sit there for hours trying to find him. It was like the best thing ever. Um, he's still actually going, so I might actually pick up some Where's Wally books to show Ellie what I used to do when I was little. But yeah, he got her this one because she absolutely loves Disney and she loves Mickey. But it's basically very similar, but it's in different countries, which is again, really educational. So it's got places like Rome, Hawaii, China, Egypt, and then you have to find Mickey. And it's quite tricky. I mean, it gets their brain working. She's very good at it now. I mean, she's done the whole book um, and she knows where he is at every page. But when she first got it, she was sitting there for hours and hours trying to find Mickey. So I think these are great books to keep them entertained. Like I said, if you are traveling, maybe on an airplane or something, um, or you want to take one to the restaurant with you so you can eat in peace, great book. So they are my favourite books for the children. Please leave me your recommendations because I am always on the lookout for more books and their book collection is ever growing now which is really really lovely. Thank you to Osborne Books for sending these books over the past couple of years. We are very grateful and as you can tell they do generally love reading books so yeah they're not just sitting collecting dust they are well loved and um, i hope you found this helpful leave me a comment like i said and i will see you all in my next video thanks for watching bye